In this guide, I'm going to show you how you could fix GTA 5 corrupt game data please reboot error. If you do find this guide helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. It really does help with the channel and lets us know that you want more content like this. We'd greatly appreciate it and if at any point throughout this guide do you have any questions, just ask them down in the comment section below and we can help you out further. I'm going to be doing my best to reply to every single comment down there. Now this error usually happens because of battle eyes or because of corrupted game files. So here's how you could fix it depending on how you play the game. Now, if you wanna play GTA Online, you do have to have BattleEye enabled. So go ahead and open up the Rockstar Games Launcher and go to the settings up in the very top right and just scroll through here and make sure that you have BattleEye enabled right here. As you can see, it's this option right here. Tick it on and you're good to go. If you want to play offline with mods, you got to disable battle eyes. So once again, come in the section, go ahead and tick this off and then hit save. And once you do so, GTA 5 will be able to run like normal. If not, it may crash or show this error. Now, if you have it through Epic Games, what you're going to want to do is obviously have Epic Games open. And as you can see, I actually have GTA 5 through Epic Games. We're going to go ahead and say it's this one right here, the enhanced version since this one needs an update real quick. But essentially, what you're gonna wanna do is find GTA 5, just tap these three dots, and then what you're gonna wanna do is select Manage, and then up at the very top, go ahead and select Verify Files, just like so. Select this, and Epic Games will scan and repair any corrupted files. That being said, if you do have this on Steam, you essentially gotta do the exact same thing. So go ahead and open up Steam. And I actually don't have this on Steam, but essentially open up your library. And let's just pretend the Arc Raiders is GTA 5, right? Go ahead and right click on GTA 5, go to properties, and then go to installed files, just like so. And then hit verify integrity of game files. And Steam's going to automatically detect and replace missing or damaged files. Once your verification is complete, restart Steam and GTA 5 and the error should be gone. It really is as simple as that though. If you guys did have any questions, ask them down in the comment section below and we can help you out further. I'm going to be doing my best to reply to every single comment down there. Before you do leave this guide though, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. It really does help us out. Let us know that you want more content like this. We'd greatly appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day though. Peace.